All right, so yesterday I posted a video uh, about the basics or understanding diesel EGR, and it was pretty popular, so I wanted to give you guys a few looks at some other different types of EGRs on other engines. This engine right here that we're looking at is a Cummins ISX CMA71 engine. It's the older version of the ISX before they went to a high pressure common rail fuel system. And you can see on this one that this EGR cooler, of course, is on the uh, left or right side of the engine, right underneath the exhaust manifold. The cooler is getting its uh, exhaust gas from the manifold, just like on the engine I showed you guys in the other video. But in this case, instead of having a crossover tube going up toward the front of the engine, this one has a crossover tube that comes around the back side of the engine. And if we follow this tube from the cooler around, we can see that it goes through here. And uh, if you follow it, it comes up uh, to right here. And what we don't see is that the EGR valve is uh, mounted, it's kind of hard to see, uh, but the, you know, the crossover tube comes up, comes right here, comes up into here, and then right in here is the Venturi that allows the exhaust gas to mix with the uh, mix with the incoming fresh air from the turbo. So it's not much different than the ones on these little engines over here that I showed you in the other EGR video. It just wraps around the back instead of the front. Uh, other than that, it's pretty similar. If you come over here, we'll show you guys what it looks like on the Detroits. They're a little bit unique. Uh, so this right here is a DD platform engine and the EGR valve is actually right here before the uh, cooler. So if you look, we have this big box. This is actually the EGR valve controller. And we have on the controller, there's this arm that attaches to a butterfly valve right here. So this valve will open and close on this Detroit DD15 and allow the uh, air, the exhaust to travel through the uh, cooler up here. And then once you get to the intake side, it's just straight piped into the intake. So where on some of the other engines we've looked at, the EGR valve is on the intake side of the engine after the cooler. This one, the EGR valve is before the cooler on the exhaust side of the engine. And my guys that go over to Freightliner and take the finish first program and get their Detroit certifications, tell me that there's a whole CBT about the size of this rod. Uh, apparently it's a pretty complicated little guy that on different engine applications, different sized rods and understanding how to install them and what positions to be in. I guess there's a lot to it. Uh, but this is a DD uh, and the one I showed you before was the Cummins ISX. So there's a lot of different uh, formations of where the valves are, where the coolers are, but ultimately they all still share that same goal of reducing combustion temperatures and uh, reducing the amount of NOx uh, that is produced in the exhaust stream because of those combustion temps. So again, I hope you guys like this. If you have any questions about EGR or anything else diesel related, please ask in the comments. Please like and subscribe. All the likes and the subscribes help me get this info out to more people so more people can learn about the wonderful world of diesel engines. Uh, thank you.